Bluegrass fans traveled from all over the country and beyond to witness the 18th annual Lakes Bluegrass Festival at the Lakes Music and Events Park in Pine River. From August 21st through last night, attendees got to watch the Queen of Bluegrass, Rhonda Vincent, the Lonesome River Band, and more take the main stage. Reporter Miles Walker has our story. The Lakes Bluegrass Festival has a simple goal year after year. Bring the best the music genre has to offer, and year after year, Founders Tim and Cindy Rogan Camp continue to up the ante. We are sharing with our fans the best in bluegrass. This is Americana music. This is came out of Appalachia. Let's bring in the best we can, the best talent, and really share with our fans. I many have come for so many years. What it's really about. About. Bluegrass music became popular in America, particularly the Midwest, back in the 20th century, and the genre has even transcended generations. Music has traced back five generations of my family. My daughter is now continuing the sixth generation of music in our family as the first female lead of the United States Navy band, Country Current. So watch for her, it's their premier band, their bluegrass country band. So I grew up in this wonderful life of bluegrass. It kind of emerged into a career. And that generational appeal to bluegrass can also be traced back to the unifying traits the genre carries that entices music enthusiasts to unplug from their busy lives and relax to the strums of a banjo. We can meet perfect strangers. In some cases, they might not even speak English, but the music can bring you together and you'll kick off a song and other people that you've just met or haven't met yet participate. You're not rehearsed, it's by ear. You're not reading sheet music. You're gathering together to play music together. The Lakes Bluegrass Festival has stood the test of time for 18 years and continues to set a new standard. And what keeps drawing people is a family-friendly atmosphere that makes the bluegrass faithful feel safe and secure. A festival like this is a family atmosphere. You can bring grandma, you can bring the baby, and everyone's going to have a great time. You bring your camper, you have bonfires at night. There's just this couple of days of just being together, eating together, eating too many marshmallows, right? But creating those memories. Reporting in Pine River, Miles Walker, Lakeland News. The Lakes Bluegrass Entertainment Committee is already busy arranging next year's festival, which will go underway, get underway, I should say, the weekend before Labor Day weekend. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.